In this video, we are going to study about the atlanto-occipital joint. These are a pair of joints which are ellipsoid type of synovial joint. Each joint is formed by the superior articular facet of the lateral mass of the atlas. So this is the superior articular facet of the lateral mass of the atlas and the condyle of the occipital bone. So here you can see the occipital condyle. Now we will see about the superior articular facet. The superior articular facet of the atlas is concave and it is directed upwards and medially and it is kidney shaped. The articular surfaces of both bones are reciprocally curved. So when you see it is reciprocally curved. Since the corresponding articular surfaces of two sides are set obliquely from behind forward and medially they represent the surface of one ellipsoid and therefore move as one unit. The movements of the Atlanta occipital joints takes place around the transverse and anteroposterior axis. Now we will see the ligaments. The ligaments are articular capsule, then you have the anterior atlanta occipital membrane and posterior atlanta occipital membrane. Now we will see about the articular capsule. The articular capsule loosely envelops each joint and it is attached to the peripheral margins of the articular surfaces. The capsule is lined internally by the synovial membrane. Next we will study about the anterior atlanto occipital membrane. This membrane connects the anterior arch of the atlas and the anterior margin of the foramen magnum. And on each side it blends with the capsule. Next we will study about the posterior atlanto occipital membrane. It extends from the posterior margin of the foramen magnum up to the upper margin of the posterior arch of the atlas. Behind the lateral mass of the atlas, the membrane presents a concave free margin. So this is the concave free margin for the passage of the vertebral artery and the first cervical nerve. Sometimes the arched free margin is ossified. Nerve supply, the atlanto occipital joint is supplied by C1 nerve. The movements permitted at the atlanto occipital joints are flexion, extension and lateral flexion. The flexion and extension takes place as, as like in nodding. Hence they are called the joints of S. The flexion and extension takes place around the transverse axis and the lateral flexion takes place around the anteroposterior axis. Now we will study about the muscles producing movements. The flexion, so this is the movement where you can see the flexion of the head. Here the muscles acting are rectus capitis anterior, longus capitis and the sternocleidomastoid muscle acting together. Next we will see about the extension. The extension of the head is produced by the rectus capitis posterior major, the rectus capitis posterior minor, the obliquus capitis superior, semispinalis capitis, splenius capitis and the upper part of the trapezius. The next movement is the lateral flexion. The lateral flexion is produced by rectus capitis lateralis, semispinalis capitis, splenius capitis, sternocleidomastoid and the upper part of the trapezius. In the erect position, the line of gravity with an average head weight of 11 LBS passes in front of the atlanta occipital joints. The head is maintained in this position by the tonus of the extensor muscle particularly the semispinalis capitis.